Are you a professional who wants to become a more effective leader? Then get ready for daily tips from the coach with the experience and inspiration to help you succeed in any leadership situation. You're listening to the Meeting Leadership Podcast with Gordon Shepard. Welcome to another episode of the Meeting Leadership Podcast, where we help professionals just like you build your leadership skills and learn how to run outstanding meetings. And if you're the type of meeting leader who really wants to support their people, then you're going to really appreciate what you learn in this episode. Because today we're going to tackle three personality management skills that will improve your meetings. And let me jump right in with number one, which is to get to know each other. Because we all know that getting to know each other during your meetings will help to deepen your mutual trust, and that will lead to more innovative and profitable conversations. And here are some basic questions to ask about how each person acts during your meetings. Are they quiet or loud? Are they happy or sad? Are they idea generators or idea enablers? Are they snappy dressers or slobs? Listeners or talkers? Are they prepared or do they come unprepared to meetings? And finally, are they polite or are they crass? And once you understand the individuals on your meeting team, then you can begin to play to their strengths. For example, if somebody is an idea generator, then maybe they need more time to speak during a meeting. Or if someone is an idea enabler, then maybe you have to stop the idea generator at the appropriate moment so that the idea enabler can have their say, and ultimately that will improve overall outcomes in your meetings. And finally, we get on to our third suggestion, which is this, surprise each other. I mean, so often in our meeting team situations, we kind of, we get used to each other, we get into a bit of a rut. Well, if you can have a few techniques that can really, you know, light people up and get them more motivated, it is really worth finding out what they are. And let me give you an example. Let's say you're walking into kind of a heavy meeting where you know you're going to tackle a big change management exercise that's going to move a big piece of your organization forward. Well, one of the simplest things that you can do to introduce this concept is to ask people to cross their arms. And once everybody in the room has actually crossed their arms, then you can say, okay, now try to cross your arms in the opposite direction. And I can tell you from experience that a bunch of people in the room will not be able to do this easily. And once you've had a good chuckle about it, then you can actually get back to the main topic, which is to say, hey, if it's so difficult just to cross our arms in the opposite direction, think about how difficult this change is that we're going to have to manage. So let's get to it. And there are dozens of these little simple techniques that you can actually use to surprise each other during meetings. And one of the big suggestions that I would have about it as well is make sure each time you get one, you actually put it into a common document list that everybody has access to. And that way, when you move on from running that meeting, the new person can come in and actually put the techniques from that list into action. And now let me take a moment to recap the three personality management skills that will improve your meetings. Number one, get to know each other. Number two, play to people's strengths. And number three, surprise each other. And if you're the type of meeting leader who really wants to learn more about personalities, then check out episode 32 on the Meeting Leadership Podcast. It's called 10 Ways for Meeting Leaders to Become More Self-Aware. And you can get that by going to meetingleadershipinc.com forward slash 32. And I also want to let you know that this episode of the Meeting Leadership Podcast is brought to you by the Meeting Leadership Academy. If you and your team are looking for great live and online training options that are going to help you build your leadership skills and learn how to run outstanding meetings, then visit meetingleadershipinc.com forward slash academy. And as always, thank you so much for listening, and we'll see you tomorrow on the Meeting Leadership Podcast. Thanks for listening to the Meeting Leadership Podcast. Be sure to subscribe for more strategies to help you become an outstanding leader. And don't forget to rate and review so we can bring you fresh content every day. We'll see you tomorrow, right here on the Meeting Leadership Podcast. I'm on top of the world, now I'm living. And the good just gets better, keeps a giving. Not even close to the end, it's just beginning. Life